This video is going to show you how to transfer grades into Infinite Campus with the grade transfer extension. So if you don't have that yet, you're going to want to go to the Chrome extension store and uh, purchase this. Our school bought all of us this as a it's a monthly subscription. So use it if you um, if you have it. OK, so the first thing is you can copy and paste or you can grab data. So I'm going to show you how to copy and paste first, and then I'll show you how to grab data from, say, a website like Google Classroom. So if you have your data organized into a Google Sheet, let's say that's how you're keeping track of grades, or you did a quiz and then you um, inserted a column of just the numerator value, which I made a video on. So make sure you watch that if you need this. Um, but in order to transfer this into Infinite Campus, all you have to do is a few steps, okay? And then there's a few things you want to look out for. So the first thing you want to do is copy just the columns that have the student's name and the numerator value. Okay, you have to do it in this order, it's not going to recognize it. So just control C, copy that. And you're going to go over here, hopefully you have it pinned, and you're going to select that extension. And you're not going to select grab data. Don't do that. Okay, you're going to actually select the clipboard. Okay, because we are copying and pasting it to that clipboard. It's going to let you know how many students it grabbed successfully. In this case, it grabbed 28 students, and that matches to how many I know took the assessment. Okay, and then we're just going to click OK. And then we're going to go into our Infinite Campus, and you're going to want to make sure that you have a couple things already created. I want to make sure you have the assignment created. You want to open it up, right? So when we talk about opening it up right here, okay? So you want to, it recognizes that this is what we want it to um, paste into when it's open, okay? And then all you're going to do is click on that extension again. It takes a second. And you're going to fill data, okay? So just watch the magic happen. It's wonderful. And um, it's going to let you know that it transferred 27 of the grades. Um, I have it blurred out so you won't be able to see that. But that means that it didn't recognize someone's name. So this is the only glitchy part about this. And since I've done it several times, I know which student is not recognized. And it's because they have like a Mick blah, blah, blah in their name, right? Um, other students that I've had issues with are students that have maybe typed out their name as one name, but it's actually separate as two names in the gradebook. Once you do this a couple times, you will learn which students are having the issue and you'll just kind of be proactive about it or checking, or they just send you an email <laughs> letting you know that you need to fix it. Okay. So I can go ahead and save this data right now. And then I can go ahead and look up the student's name that I need to fix. And I would just go ahead and fix that. And then anything that's left um, green, it's not going to keep it green. It's just letting you know that it's blank. So as soon as you um, like close that out, right, they're going to show up just like any other assignment would that you haven't graded. So if you want to mark it missing, mark it missing. So that is how you would um, copy and paste data in. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can actually grab data. If you had graded something in. Google Classroom and you've returned it to them. That way it's it kind of sorts it on the page. As you can see, I have 30 graded. You would just go up to your little pinned bar there and select grab data. Okay, so you grab you select the grade transfer pin, grab data. It's going to tell you how many students it grabbed the data for. So in this case, 30 students matches my 30 students here. So I was like just a nice double check. Then you get into your infinite campus, make sure that you are in the right period. Make sure that you've already opened this up, right? And expanded it out so that it knows exactly where to put the data in. Select your pin again and fill data. And then it's going to let you know how many it filled, right? So let's see. So it transferred data for 30 of the students. Okay. Um, if it gives you an error and it says only like 29 were transferred, it probably means it didn't recognize somebody's name. And so you just go through the ones that are blank. And usually, if it, like I said earlier, you figure out who is getting rejected as far as their name, like because it's a multiple name situation. Um, but yeah, it's that easy and it'll save you a whole bunch of time.